Well, this is the uh, day seven of my uh, West Highland Way walk, the last day. I'm just leaving Kinlock leaving now. That's it down there. I'm pointing out the right way. Uh, Stayed in the campsite just down the bottom of the um, where the West Highland Way rejoins, uh, leaves the uh, Kinlock leaving. Uh, McDonald's something cabin camping. Nice campsite. But some of the noisiest people were. They went to the pub, came back, and they were having a bit of a party until one o'clock in the morning, which wasn't nice. But uh, uh, what can you do? Breakfast was nice. It's now coming up to ten past eight. I've just passed one man who uh, camped on the West Island Way just as you're leaving Kinloch Leven. Uh, he, he could see the road from his tent he must be able to do. Um, but there is an area down there where you can wild camp if you want to. You can see a lot of other people have uh, camped there. But uh, right, straight out of Kinloch Leven and it's straight uphill. Whew. Well, the weather today, again, it's not raining. I've been quite lucky on this uh, this trip. The clouds in the sky. But um, I'm not expecting any rain. Although I am expecting it to be a bit more blowy than, uh, than it has been. A bit more windy and maybe a little bit cooler. Let's hope. Oh well, let's, let's walk on. I've just climbed out of King Lot Lever and I hope you can hear me because it certainly is quite windy. Uh, climbing out of King Lot Lever, it's, um, it's quite steep and there's quite a lot of switchbacks going through the woods. It's not dissimilar to the um, staircase, I don't know if anybody, but it's, it's not dissimilar to that really. I think on, on a day like today, where there is a bit of a breeze now, it's not too hot and it's not raining, it's, you know, it's a bit of a slog, you sweat a bit, but you've got to expect to do that really for walking this. But uh, no, it's not too bad at all really. I've now just, um, just come up and joining this other I'm not sure if this is the old military road or not, I'm not sure yet, but it's just joined this other track now, bigger track. And um, by the looks of it, it goes on, dips down a bit, it's sort of come towards the, uh, the, the side of the mountain there, so uh, it doesn't look too bad going from now on. Well, for the first bit I can see anyway. Right, let's do a bit more walking here. It's a bit windy so I hope you can hear me but I'm still on this track going that way where I've come from. It's a bit rain. All the way down the valley you might be able to make out the uh, the ruin up there. That's where I've come from. But yeah I've been on this track uh, what time did I leave? I left the uh, campsite just gone eight on that, I think. Um, it only takes about a half hour to get up to uh, uh, get up the hill on the side of uh, Kinloch Leaven to get out, out of there. Um, it is uh, steep and quite windy. Uh, it's not too bad, really, like that. Especially on a day like today when there's a, a breeze, no sun, no rain either. It's quite nice. Uh, yeah, and now the time is now ten past ten. So, uh, yeah, I've been going a couple of hours now, and about an hour and a half of it has been on this track. Uh, most of the um, most of the paths and tracks that you uh, you end up walking on the West Island Way are all very similar to this. It's uh, reasonably compacted uh, gravel and sand. Um, sometimes the surface is looser than this, and sometimes it, 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 it's not. Sometimes it's even smoother. So I think even, I think even if it was raining, I don't think you'd, be, you'd have too many places where it was uh, muddy or boggy. Although uh, I could well be wrong on that. Oh. Not too sure how much longer I've got to go on this path. I 
get my uh, I'll get my GPS out. Yeah, I think I said before a couple of days ago that I, I think you do need to have either a GPS with the, um, the West Island Way plotted onto it or the, um, the map. Uh, I think I've already shown you the map, the map that I've got. But either one will do. But I think you do need to have one or the other um, because it has been quite a few times when you, you come to like a fork in the, the track and there is no... Uh, there is no West Island Way marker, so you don't quite know which way to go. But it's very windy, so I'm going to put the camera away now. There we go, the trail's changed a bit now. It's still very windy, but the sun keeps coming out every now and again. I don't know if you can hear me. Just come down through the gate there. Oh. Time's now 20 past 11. So I've been going what's that, just over three hours, 10, 20 minutes, something like that. So I don't think I'm making bad time. Uh, I know there's a, um, a campsite in Glen Nevis, the West Island Way actually um, goes right by it, and I've stayed in that campsite before, but that campsite is about 24, I don't know, it's, it's got to be about 45 minute walk, I would have thought, out from the main town. Um, so what I'm planning to do is carry on on the way, West Island Way, straight into town and finish off the West Island Way, uh, then maybe see if I can find a campsite which is closer to town. Um, there must be more than the, that, just that one here, but uh, no doubt I'll find out. I think in a minute I'm going to go walk down through some woods, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it won't be quite as windy. But at least I'm not sweating today. That makes a change. Right, I've just come out from the, uh, the woods behind me and now I am just uh, joining the road that goes from, there's a, the behind me, that goes from the, um, the campsite, Glen Nevis camp, campsite, into Fort William. So now I've got a bit of a walk along the road. Well, I'm now by the uh, original end of the West Island Way. And if, you, if you stop here, you haven't finished. It's the other end of the main street, so I'll get down there and carry on recording. <laughs> 